here it's not about being nice davy it's about finding frags don't worry about the game sound we will get that resolved asap and already the frags are being found hex he's been bewitched into the opening pistol and he has gone down bombs going to be planted they've actually got deep ct control as well so the t's could have a fighting chance into this one davy they could. I mean, with that CT post plan, it does make it a little bit easier. Again, Lato with this smoke in a kit. Phelps walks in. He finds the second. Nice headshot from him. And now they know that they're both deep in CT spawn. Not fighting together, though. But it doesn't matter if Phelps is shooting everybody in the head. Perfect. .net está de volta e todos que utilizarem o cupom ASSO no mês de setembro vão ganhar 40% de bônus. E concorrer uma faca daga sombrias e mais três AKs Neon Revolution. Mais de mil reais de prêmio para você. Serão enviados para quatro usuários diferentes do cupom ARTS. Utilize o cupom no CSGO.net e preencha o formulário. Os dois links vão estar aqui na descrição do vídeo. Lamb's pretty expensive. expensive. Mm, but human leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> human people. <laughs> Lato. He tries to get the opening pick. There's a nice spray down. Phelps feeling out the round towards ramp. Overcomes. Now the pressure's really on. RBG into this round, Davey. Just two players left alive. Obviously, three players here for Godsent as well. So if they keep all three of them alive and kicking, they'll be quite content. Have good money going into the next round. And they'll also have a 4-0 lead. Wowco has been seen. But he's just going to go for the backstab through deep CT. Meanwhile, one whiz. He's coming up the ramp, so he'll have the close rage engagement against Phelps. He's already had three kills, so this could be his quad if he hits another one with the Kalashnikov. Stutter stepping back and forward, ready for the play. Switches off as they flash, and actually it's Wiz that will slay. Pulls out the mage powers for that one. 30 seconds left. Grabs the bomb. They've got utility, but they have to make this sharpish. They've got to go fast. Taco hiding under, ready to take a bite out of anyone that comes towards him. Dumal burnt to a crisp, but they actually hit their shots. Dumal with the first. Switches back to V250, firing wildly into the smoke. He's just got to waste a little bit more time. Ooh. Woo! Or do that. Big frag. There we go. Lead the best of one like this could be huge for momentum. Taco as well, showing off the movement. Look at the mechanics of the madman. Yeah, and Wiz right there thought he had that best spawn, thought he was locked in on that window position, but Taco got out first. And so you can see Hex, he just went out mid thinking, oh, I'm in the clear, I'm good here. Goes out and ends up going down at the hands of Taco, who's now given that op straight back over to Dumal. And one thing I will say, Jack, when uh, I saw Godsent play in the DreamHack North America stuff, they were changing their opera depending on the map. Sometimes it was Barton, sometimes it was Taco, sometimes it was Dumal. And I wonder if that now they've sort of settled on Doom Mao just being the primary opera, or if they still rotate that opera around a lot. Curious to see. Uh, hopefully, as we get as we see more maps in this event from them, we'll be able to figure out how they do that. Because at the time, that was very that was a very unique thing, right? Not many teams would do stuff like that. No, it's true. Nice little piece of history. History, though, for RBG here, isn't really what they'd want to make of it. And left with just three players alive. A desperation play. At least they find a pick towards middle, actually. Response back onto Wowco as he comes out through the smoke. Isn't ideal for them. Only two T's left. Outnumbered and outgunned two to one. Chop. Has to hit the fast headshot. Can't quite do it. Smoked off as well by Phelps in the close angle. He'll back up. Doom out with the orb. Sees a tiny bit of skin. Lands straight onto it. Far and jump. It's like a cartoon network about Finn the human and Jake the dog. Okay. Yeah, so it's a good cartoon, mate. Very, very enjoyable. Phelps, though, he's the one putting the ratings through the roof when it comes to the A site defense. Cleans up with the early entry. Lato. Ooh, he'll get one. Actually doubles down for two more at the end there as well. Breaks they're, they're, they're just not hitting their shots. And in, in, in reality, Counter Strike, you know, obviously tactics are very important. They play a huge role in the game. But if, if you're not shooting the other team, then your tactics don't really matter. Well, you know, I remember it saying that happened a lot, even from my own experience, where, you know, you get home from an I-Series or an Epic LAN, like the day of uh, of EPS, like the UK Prem, at the time, obviously, it was like, you know, the, the biggest, like, UK CS tournament. And you, you get back and you'd be so shattered. This might actually work, Davey. Taco's backed off just slightly. They can slip him. Nade goes out, though. Molly, good damage. Nice slow. Jitter with one. Felt with another. They're finding the frags. And Barton, he's picked up a double kill on entry to B. So no chance for RBG, it seems, just yet. Unless Walco and OneWiz can reply. Molly towards the Golden Arches. 
Barton, Ooh, with the fast flick, sneaks up. He's a headhunter, but there's still a chance. The Orp of Wiz has to rip them to pieces in the next 13 seconds. Basically has the plant right now. He sees the player towards shop as well. Two seconds until it's too late. He's not going to hit the shot. Comes off the bomb as well. Everything that could have gone wrong did, Time. and he died. It's true, man. That's all it takes. Normally, in a round like this as well, if you somehow find yourself picking it up with just the Deagles, it gives you that momentum back. And there could be a bit of a chance. The Deagles find a couple of heads here and there. Jumal runs in, though, with a Tech 9 that he snatched from RBG, uses it against them, and puts them into an early grave. Just Jitter left. They are swinging onto him, but Taco <laughs> didn't even. So, good trade back, at least, onto Waco with a HE. All v4, Davy seems like they want to take a stab at B once more. Utility goes in, block off the arches, deep smoke at the back of the site as well. Barton has been a living nightmare for them, playing underneath window. But Hex, he might have actually opened this up. Puts pressure on shorts, they have to decide. Fight towards the site or fight on short, but they're just going to kill everyone anyway. Taco with a clean up, all on Wiz. Is he a dab hand with the AWP? The first he is, and Ooh. the second, the flick on a Taco bites a big chunk out of that man. Cracks him open and runs away with 10 HP. Has to hightail it towards the A site, it seems. Does have the bomb in the back pocket. He's got 40 seconds to pull off this play. Mirror on the infantry. Orp versus Orp. They've both got a smoke. Only difference being there's a CZ for Lato, and he's a lot healthier. And he knows that he's dinked, right? Taco called that one. So yeah, this is going to be the bomb down. And this actually is... This just kind of sucks for Lato, because at this point, he could be anywhere. He could have pushed CT spawn. He could be going connected. There's so many places he could be playing. And he opts to just sit right in the site. So this is a really bold call. But with just 10 HP, I understand why he's made it. He plays the 1v1. You're hoping this is just the last spot Lato's going to check. Uh -oh. that's oh, dude, that's so unlucky. I'd be so mad. Like, man, why are you nading? Yeah, and Lato has this off towards Ticket. So timing on this is going to be everything. If they peek out before the flash, they don't. They peek out right with it. Lato finds one. Quick trade from Chop, though. Now that is a site conceded. No more nades left on this T side. But no smoke for the CTs either. So their retake is going to be a little disjointed here. We see Phelps towards top mid. Two players going CT. So this will just be this two-pronged retake. One Molotov in the hands of Phelps. Taco. Oh, getting timings, but luckily backed up by his boy Barton, the bruiser. Hits him with the org and makes Wiz a loser. And losing could be the outcome for RPG here. They fluff their line. No utility at all, though. They have to go in dry on this. Attacko, he instigates the round. Runs out. They don't clear on the balcony. Jitter, he can have a field day on this, but he only gets one. Equal trades back to back. We're actually in an advantage now for the T side. I don't know how they've done this, but they clap back. Two kills from the CTs. Dumal jumping around, trying to stay alive. Has the Glock in his hand, but has to find two tags. One in the head of Chop. Clean cut. Lops his brain off. And all he's got to do is frag onto Wiz. 17 seconds, though. So time is of the essence. He needs to push. Needs to complete the hat trick. But he's holding. Expecting the peak to come towards him. There's no reason to. Wiz hunkers down, hiding behind the bench. Five seconds. And the Glock will overpower him. The jump spot. They're set up for this, Davey. Can they hit the shots with the Deagles, though? Well, yeah, and that counter smoke coming out as well. And actually, that is the bomb dropped in upper B, so they can't even cancel at this point. Godsend is committed to this B play. Jitter is able to find one. Some counter utility comes out, and that bomb's now recovered. Phelps in this advanced position. It is just the bomb going down, but Chop was there and waiting, hiding in the smoke. He's able to find one onto Barton. That's the bomb down. And now again, this one versus one. Dumal versus Wiz. Can they repeat the same thing in the pistol round? Can Dumal find this 15th round and send us to match point? He spots him out. He tries to get away, but Wiz is committed. Tries to jump back. You can't do that once you're already... Oh, and again, I mean, Hex has pushed through A. Got the information that Taco had left. And they still could split up towards Connector, but this time Hex... Okay, I thought maybe he was going to try to go aggressive and actually go for the flank onto Taco, but again, he just stays in that advanced position. But no rotation from the CTs, despite all the info that Hext has. They haven't rotated over to the B site, Jack. It's just Chop here by himself. What can he do? The Chopper. Can he take him to the Butcher's Shop? Not at all. Fragged out by Dumao instantly. Running and shooting for Lato. No one gave him the memo that he's playing Counter-Strike because he'll hit that headshot onto Wiz and it's just left on Walco and Hex. One by one, they're going to be fragged out. It was a two-for-one sale at the shop.